Greetings, my fellow humanoid dwellers. In this episode, we're going to mount the CNC attachment that I printed. It should be just great fun. First, we have to start by removing the standard one that I purchased from Open Builds. There are four screws that hold the current one on. And those are the uh, bolts that slip up and down inside the track. Now, as you can see, it doesn't quite fit. It's a little bit wider. It's made for a uh, one more track wide thing, so I'm going to have to put on an angle bracket so that I can attach it. I really should have put the top one on first, um, as I found out I had to kind of hold it with my finger and slip it up. It took a little longer than what uh, what it shows on the video. I did some cutting and, and editing of this. The whole procedure took me about 17 minutes to change um, the mount and get it ready to go. There's a lower and an upper piece. I don't think it would have mattered which side I put the L bracket on to hold it. I just chose that side at random. I have the little slip um, bolts that go in the tracks on either side so I could switch it if needed. The wrench that you're seeing me use there, um, because of the way the angle brackets were and has the bolts pulled into it, it didn't really work like I had hoped. I ended up putting a screwdriver in the in the bracket there. You can see I'm holding it there, and I kind of wedged that to hold it in place. You won't be able to see it because my hand's in the way, but uh, it, it worked it worked better than the wrench. should have had a probably a different angle with my camera. I left them somewhat loose so I could slip them around. So I'm going to start by mounting the bottom one and making it level. Slip the Dremel through the top hole and then uh, then tighten up the top one. Since I'm using this for engraving it doesn't have to be perfectly level. Um, I don't imagine using the Dremel tool for anything other than engraving. I'm raising that up a little bit so I can get the level in there. I thought you would be able to see the bulb or the the little um, bubble better in this, but uh, but you can't really see it all that well. So I'm making the bottom one perfectly level, and then as I slide the Dremel tool in, the top one um, will just kind of be wherever it is, hoping that the bottom one is is as level as I can be. I 
I had some problems with this because it would bind as I slid it up and down when I went to add the Dremel to the to the device. I also had to add some tape, some um, painter's tape around it, just so that it would grip it a little bit better. Otherwise, it slipped. And you have to remove the little end plastic piece. You can see I thought the tape wasn't going through, but as it turns out, I really just had to raise the fixture a little bit higher to get it to, get it to slip down. I'm raising this so I can uh, put a level on it, but um, to be honest with you, I'm not really too concerned. Like I said, it's just for engraving. The very tip of the bit is going to go into the material that I'm cutting, so level isn't isn't as important on this one. can see it still slips and that's why those bolts go in the front. And because of the plastic or nylon inserts in those bolts, um, I was not able to hold them with my fingers. I needed a wrench. I wouldn't recommend using any sort of power tool on this with the plastic of the fixture. Um, be afraid I would strip or run right through it. It's better to just hand tighten things. In my next video, I plan to show it actually making a cut, um, but that's about it for now. Thanks for watching.